there are a lot of people in the world who love using iPhone. I'm also one among them. Four, I was feeling great. Four S, I was feeling very good. Then I took five S, I was feeling fantastic. Then six plus came. I took six S plus. You guys remember how you felt when you hold, held this phone in your hand? You felt really, really amazing. So did I. I was feeling really, really good. But here's was the thing. A kind of thought stuck in my mind in 2015. How long am I going to buy these kinds of, you know, new versions which are coming? And what is the reason I'm really buying them? But I could not resist the urge and I went ahead and I bought 7 plus as well. But that was the last. After that, for the next four years, there have been various models that were coming. You had iPhone 8, then you had iPhone 10, then you had uh, X, iPhone X, then you had iPhone X Max. Then you had iPhone XR, then you had 11, then you had 11 Pro. Bella was using the same iPhone 6S Plus. Because somewhere I had lost the complete urge in me that un you know, unconscious urge in me, that desire to show people that I'm using something cool, I'm using something new. And as I dropped that urge, I became free from that vicious stripe of, you know, trap of buying things that I don't necessarily need. Now for Almost, you can say, from 2015, and we are in 2021, Feb. Now, this is March. And only now, I went ahead and I bought this iPhone 12 Pro, which I found it extremely fantastic for my use, for whatever I love to do. And to shoot my videos, to empower myself, to connect with the world and fantastic features. And now when I hold it, I do not feel that high which I used to feel and that inclination I used to feel to project myself. Now I love using it for myself. For giving a better experience to the people who download my courses and also to give and to gift wonderful things to people and for the videos that I'm creating so that people understand the kind of courses I created previously also were fantastic. This I feel by far large is a really really fantastic experience to be free from the trap to do things just to prove somebody just to make people feel that oh your life is progressing the moment you drop doing things to please others you will be in an extremely comfortable position. So if you are somebody who is buying things to feel just good, do not buy things to just feel good. Feel good and then buy things. If you are somebody who wants to show off to people, drop that attitude. Because you will be ending up buying a whole lot of things which are not necessary for you. Now what I need is I need comfort. And... And I'm sitting in a one lakh rupees of couch. Now, this is all that I require. And I don't need um, to, you know, buy a huge posh building for that. I can use the existing building and just buy a nice couch and sit on it and feel really, really good, really, really nice. 
I need air condition and air condition is there. Fantastic. That's all that's needed. Life can happen to you in a very fantastic way when you know how to define things. Otherwise, constantly you will be going browsing and then taking things which are absolutely not necessary for you in your life. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, life happens to those who prioritize their freedom, who connect in love and who understand the significance of grace. <laughs> in my life, I have realized being a digital life coach, life coach, leadership coach, travel explorer, having authored more than 80 published books, these things are quite temporary, very temporary things. And uh, to use them and not be engaged with them is one fantastic thing. It's a one fantastic experience. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I continue to enjoy things in my life without being bonded by them. In my life, I recognize the significance of love. I recognize the significance of grace. Rest all are deceptive. They will leave you one day. Because as I was talking to you, when I took 7 plus jet black, 256 GB, I remember having shot so many of my videos in Ladakh. And just a few of them, which I uploaded and which are there in YouTube today, Many of them I lost it when I lost my phone. And for, I remember, 3 minutes, 33 or 35 seconds, I don't remember exactly. Should be around that time. I felt very, very bad having lost that phone. And being a digital life coach and being someone who has applied the principles in my own life, I could be free from that and I could connect back with what I was doing. Underlying things in our life must not define who we are. What must actually define is how we feel about ourselves, how we feel about being associated and treated in love. Very rarely there's an opportunity to feel gracious and love happens. If it does happen to you in your life, you're extremely blessed. I feel blessed to love. I feel blessed to be in grace. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, have a great time. Enjoy your life. Feel good about yourself. And don't keep buying things to show others. Good day, everybody. This is Kartik Puvanam. I'm a leadership coach, author, and travel explorer. And I will see you in another amazing video. Good day.